Hi, it's time for another coffee break. Have you ever thought to yourself, oh wow, would be great to work anywhere and live anywhere that you want? Well, now you can. Today, I want to talk to you about the pandemic takeaways and the impact they've had on the real estate market. So pandemic takeaways. We have learned that we can work remotely from our home or the cottage or really anywhere. We have learned that almost everything can be delivered to our doorsteps, right? Who hasn't taken advantage of that? Come on. And we have also learned that technology has made great advances and we've learned how to use it. The learning curve has been very steep over the last year and a half or so. How do these takeaways impact the real estate market? One of the most significant impacts is the fact that people see more value in detached homes than ever before. And this can be seen directly in the demand for detached houses and the prices buyers are willing to pay for them. So why detached homes? Well, people feel safer from the pandemic. They want to have the option to go outside and use their backyard without compromising their health. Families with kids have greater appreciation for homes with a swimming pool. So as you may know, keeping kids occupied during the summer can be a challenge. Well, especially if community pools are closed, if parks have limited capacity, if, um, summer camps have been canceled or have limited capacity. These pose a lot of challenges for family with kids. Well, if you have a large backyard or if you have a pool in it, then those challenges and pain points become more manageable. People need workspace. We've had several months where everyone had to stay at home. And we have discovered a new appreciation for extra square footage so that kids and adults in the household can work without interruptions. Of course, detached homes offer the most flexibility in providing the necessary workspace. As a matter, as a matter of fact, a home office has become a central feature of our homes. So much so that many builders have modified their build designs and provided an upgraded floor plan with a home office. And guess what? Most buyers choose floor plans with the home office feature. So while the real estate market is booming, it is the detached home that has the greatest price increase and sells at the fastest pace during the pandemic era. So if you have a detached home, if, and if perhaps you are retired or an empty nester, and if you find yourself not using the entire house as you used to, and if you've been thinking about selling, well, now is a great time to downsize as your property has the greatest value in the market. Another impact that the pandemic has had on the real estate market is that many people choose to pick up and move to a smaller town in Ontario or move out of the province entirely. So working remotely means literally working from anywhere you want to work from. Technology and the employers have made it possible for employees to perform their jobs remotely from home. So why not take advantage of that and make your home anywhere, right? Atlantic provinces in particular have seen a surge of people relocating over the past two years. Actually, more people have moved east than ever before. And more people have moved in 2021 than in 2019 and 2020 combined. Migration to the Atlantic provinces has also been driven by lower and more affordable housing prices. At about 60%, of value of, of Toronto homes, PEI, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, and Newfoundland are attracting many people. 
and most affordable places are St. John's, Newfoundland and St. John's, New Brunswick. Almost 12,000 people have moved from the Atlantic provinces in just this year. So whether you want to move back to your roots, you want to have an adventure, or are looking for an affordable housing, now might be the opportunity time for you to join the migration movement. Now, I have always been fascinated by migration and immigration, by the flow of people from one region to another. And it is intriguing to look at Canada today and see how the movement of people is taking place. With respect to housing market, this movement is not without consequences. So let's take a look. Nationally, home sales are down by 11.5%. New listings are down by 19.6%. And average prices are up by 18.2%. The most significant gains are, of course, in the detached home sector. All this freedom of working from anywhere and rising home prices has got people moving to the East Coast and to the West Coast, causing prices increases in all of these regions. So New Brunswick has an average price increase by 24.5% year over year. Nova Scotia, 20.5%, PEI 22.7%, Newfoundland 7.5%, BC and Yukon both average over 18%, while the middle provinces and territories are experiencing the smallest increases. Meanwhile, Ontario average home prices are 22.9% higher than last year. This means that your house is appreciating faster than the average home in Canada. The global pandemic has been many things to many people, and it has had a significant impact on our lives, especially on how we live and where we live. On a positive note, one of the takeaways from this experience is that you can work and live anywhere. So be sure to take advantage of it. If you like what you hear today, click like. This will help you to push the content to other people who might find it valuable. If you want to hear more from me in the future, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for listening and take care until next time.